Hi, I'm Troy Miller, the Fat Oils and Grease Coordinator for the Town of Hillsboro. In November 2016, Town Council adopted an ordinance to ban certain material that was dispersed in the sewer system. Many of those items are things we use every day. Tampons, sanitary napkins, towelettes, threads and fabrics, plastic bags, cans and bottles, and even flushable wipes. When wipes are sold, many of them are marketed as flushable. And they are. When you think about it, just about anything could be flushed. A toy airplane, you're going down. A golf ball, fork. A candle, ooh la la. A pencil, school's out for the summer. And even John Cena. You can't see me. But those wipes are all plastic based and don't break down in the sewer. Like toilet paper, which is wood based. Exhibit A, our toilet paper in water. You can see as we replicate what a toilet would do by spinning the water, that it breaks down into little parts that will flush. Now let's try that with a wipe. As you can see, the wipe is still together. And when we pull it out, it's exactly the same way as when it went in. When wipes are flushed, instead of breaking down, they join a bond with grease, feminine hygiene products, dental floss, Q-tips, and all those other items that we should have thrown away. They bind together and have a party. A pump station is designed to pump water away from your home and neighborhood. Those materials come here and bind together and don't want to leave. So the town of Hillsboro staff have to come clean it out. They use specialized vacuum equipment that cleans all the material out where it's taken and disposed of at the wastewater treatment plant. The materials that do make it through the pump station come here to the wastewater treatment plant where they go through a very expensive piece of equipment called a grinder. The grinder shreds up all the large material and brings it here, the bar screen. The bar screen is a mechanical separator that separates the solids from the wastewater and takes it up an escalator of sorts and washes it off to get rid of most of the human waste. It is then brought through the pipe where it's compressed, going here to the receptacle. This process costs the town of Hillsboro and you, the taxpayer, tens of thousands of dollars every year. Sometimes those wipes don't make it into the pump station or the wastewater treatment plant. Oftentimes, those wipes get stuck here in pipes at your home, causing you to have to hire a plumber that could cost thousands of dollars. It also goes into the town sewer system where it gets blocked up and it's very expensive to clean out, is not very aesthetically pleasing, and could kill aquatic life if it gets into our lakes, rivers, and streams. So you can see that it's very expensive and really gross to get rid of all those wipes and bad materials that are flushed. So we need you to do your part. Only flush the three P's, pee, poo, and toilet paper. All other items should be thrown in the trash can. Thank you for making Hillsboro an awesome place to live.